Hey guys, welcome to a, another video session of Convince and Convert, uh, where I do a breakdown of ads and landing pages, show what's right, uh, what's wrong, and how to improve them, and ultimately how to, well, convince and convert web traffic into more customers. So in this session, I want to do a breakdown of a landing page uh, being done by a dental office in New York City. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about this landing page, but there's a lot of things I don't like and how they can improve it. So let's just dive right in. And first, I want to talk about what I like uh, before I talk about what I dislike. So from the very beginning, a uh, great hero shot. It's a stock image, obviously, but it's a great hero shot uh, of a beautiful woman with a great smile. Um, so here, the navigation, the first thing you have to know about proper landing page optimization is that you should never have navigation links that link off page. However, um, these navigation links do not link off page, they link on page, meaning if you click on them, it simply just takes you to other parts of the landing page. That's number one, that's another thing that I like. Um, number two, actually number three I should say, is the navigation is fixed. So you notice how you're scrolling down, this navigation is fixed. So I, re I really like that. Um, I like the fact that their address is listed all the way at the top. A lot of times you don't really see this with a lot of local businesses. I notice a lot of local businesses and their landing page, uh, they forget to list the address and phone number at the top. Okay. Um, this is the body copy. I like the strong design flow here, meaning um, you can there you can easily navigate from one section to the next with real ease, and it's a really strong, consistent uh, design. Uh, they're making use of the office or the dental office's uh, color scheme, which is uh, dark blue and gold. So I really like that. Very strong design, cons cons blah. Very strong design consistency. Uh, moving on, more body copy, contact form towards the middle and bottom of the page. I think that's fine. Uh, it's good that they include some information about the dentist. Uh, too often, I find with a lot of local business businesses uh, in the about section, well, they don't really have an about section. They don't really talk about themselves and why they're different. So I like that. It really makes it personal. Um, social proof, like where they've been mentioned. I don't like it here, but we'll talk about that in a second. More body copy, before and after. So this is, this is good. FAQs towards the, the bottom as it should be. All right. So that's what I like. Let's talk about what I don't like or where they can improve. So going back to the top again, um, first of all, they need to make the phone number clickable. This is especially important on mobile, okay? Because people can't remember the phone number and then try to open up their phone prompt and try to dial in the number that they're trying to memorize. It's just too hard for a lot of people. So you wanna make your phone number clickable, okay? And that's, that, that would really improve conversion rates dramatically. Um, number two, I don't like the, well, I like the hero banner and the hero image. I don't like the hero headline and the subtitle. Um, they can do a lot better than this with regards to the hero headline. Uh, I think this can be approved on to make it more to make a more dramatic statement, uh, something that will speak to the benefits uh, of a person looking for a smile makeover. Because it's not really a smile makeover that people want; it's what's behind that. Uh, for example, they want enhanced confidence. They want to feel more confident of themselves. So I think that the copywriter could have done a, a better job of this. The subtitle is just simply way too long. Uh, I don't think people really are going to read this. It's just too much. Your subtitle, which, is, which falls below the um, hero headline, should really only be one to two sentences at most. Um, but this kind of just goes on and on, and I think they need to rework the whole uh, hero headline and subheadline. Uh, I think their CTA button is fine. Moving on to the body copy, um, I think this needs a lot of work. Uh, in fact, 
this is actually a copy and paste uh, from their main website. So you see here that they were smart enough to create a subdomain for their landing page, most likely because the, ho the, the general website, which I'll switch over to, is not really fit for landing or for pay-per-click marketing campaigns. Uh, too often when you hire marketing agencies, they have a tendency to use the inside page or the services page as their landing page. And that's a really big no-no. Um, so actually here, let me show you guys. So they simply just copy and pasted this page, which is the uh, smile makeover page, this one right here. They simply just copy and pasted the content here over to here. So that was, that's a very lazy approach to copywriting, uh, especially when you're paying good money on Google search ads. So I would rewrite this entire body copy and make it a lot more persuasive using either AIDA, A-I-D-A, or the PASS method, P-A-S. Uh, P-A-S is really my preferred, uh, which is problem, agitate, solution. So they really want to talk about the problem that someone has, um, how to, and then they want to get into agitation, which, is, which means once you've introduced the problem, you really want to agitate the problem and show how it can be worse if you don't take the proper steps to uh, resolve it. And then S stands for solution, which is since we've talked about the problem and we've agitated, here's how our services can be uh, of help to you. So um, again, I think they need to rewrite this body copy. And if they do that and just make it more persuasive, um, that will really help improve conversions. So um, I'm really, I don't, I, I get the idea of video, especially a, a real quick uh, 50 second video about the company. Um, but what ends up happening I found is that people actually just don't click on the YouTube videos. So it becomes a waste of space. I'll show you an example. Um, right now it is April uh, 9th. And this video was, reco was recorded. Let me just pause that. Uh, this video was recorded back in December 20th. So I imagine they've had their campaigns running for a good two or three months now. And as you can see, it's only got 19 views, right? So people don't really watch the uh, YouTube video in bits uh, very much. And so I don't know if they really should have this here. Um, I'm kind of conflicted. If you guys do landing pages, I'd love to hear your comments about YouTube embeds and whether or not um, you think it should stay. Um, moving on, this is probably another copy and paste. I'd work on that. So the social proof, like where they've been mentioned, their media mentions, I would actually move this up. Like this should not be all the way down here. Uh, some of this stuff should be moved all the way up here, like just below the hero, the hero banner, and it should be mentioned right here. And it should say something to the effect of, we've been mentioned in, and then you, you're gonna list the local media that you've been mentioned in. Um, that will help establish credibility from the very get-go. So other than that, I think it's a very strong landing page uh, within the dental niche. Um, believe me, I've seen a lot of dental campaigns that where their landing page is horribly done. So I think the marketing company that was hired to do this, they've done a decent job relative to what I've seen in this niche. Um, I just think that there's room for improvement here. That's all. So again, that is another breakdown of a landing page and uh, what's right and what's wrong. Uh, as always, my name is Dean Hua. I'm a digital advertising strategist. I do lead generation through paid media for a lot of businesses, both at the B2B and B2C level. Uh, if you're ever looking for a landing page video audit, I'll link uh, more information about that in the description below. Also, uh, I wrote a ebook called Superhero High Converting Landing Pages. Um, it's a free guide on how to improve your landing pages. It's specifically designed for local businesses as well as small businesses at the B2B and B2C level. Other than that, I'll see you guys soon. Later. Bye.
Hey marketers, Dean here. So if you're new to this channel, this channel is focused on digital advertising and marketing. If you want to keep improving your marketing game, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe, like, and bell icon. It's the best way to get notification of new content by yours truly. Plus, it helps with the algorithmic thingamajiggy that YouTube does. Don't ask me what it does, it just does. As always, stay curious.